We're an island, and as such, our coasts are under a constant assault from the waves. Today, we're going to explore how waves are formed, as well as the different waves that can affect our coastline. Waves are created when wind blows across the water. Ripples form as the wind interacts with the water's surface. The distance of sea between two landforms is called the fetch, and the greater the fetch, the greater the potential size of the waves. This is why Hawaii has great surfing, whereas Kent does not. As waves approach the shore, the seabed starts to interrupt their circular movement. Friction with the seabed starts to slow the base of the wave, whilst the top continues. This turns the movement from circular to elliptical. Through slowing the base of the wave, the top of the crest of the wave will rise and then break onto the beach. The forward movement of the wave up the beach is called a swash, whilst the water returning to the sea after the wave breaks is called the backwash. There are different types of waves at the beach. Two to be aware of are constructive and destructive waves. Constructive waves, as the name suggests, deposit and therefore construct the beach, making it larger and wider. Constructive waves are low, surging waves that spill onto the beach with a powerful swash, pushing material up onto the beach. They are formed by storms that may be hundreds of kilometres from the beach where they break. The crests of the waves are far apart, the backwash is more gentle, and they are usually found on gently sloping beaches. Destructive waves, on the other hand, are formed when storms are closer to the coast. These are frequent and closely spaced waves that are high and steeply plunging as they reach the beach. Due to their steep plunge, they don't produce a great deal of forward energy in the swash, but they have a powerful backwash that will drag material back towards the sea, creating steeper beaches. Waves are constantly breaking on our beaches, and by doing so, they help to shape the coastline of the future.